So what we've got here is a JavaScript model of a die that I've created and when I click the button it gives me a random number from 1 to 6 uh, which replicates the roll of a dice and it shows me what the face of the dice would look like. So it's a classic uh, model, it's got a variable which is the number we're rolling and it's got some rules which tell us uh, when each of the spots needs to appear. So can we reproduce that using a spreadsheet using Excel or LibreOffice? Well we can and the process is exactly the same in both uh, of the two spreadsheets. So um, until Excel 2003 you needed to use the RAND function to generate a random number and then multiply it and round it off to scale it uh, between 1 and 6 but uh, since then there's been a new random function called RAND between and that takes two numbers uh, a minimum and a maximum effectively so RAND between uh, 1 comma 6 gives us a whole random number between 1 and 6 uh, effectively reproducing the roll of a dice and when I press the F9 key it rolls it again or gives me a new random number and the only difference between um, doing this in Excel and doing it in LibreOffice is this stage the function is the same but uh, to regenerate the number in LibreOffice using rand between you need to use shift control and F9 other than that everything is the same so we need to think in a minute about the rules for when each spot appears but before that I'm just going to format my spreadsheet to make it look a bit more like a, a dice so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to color the background and then I'm going to highlight a section of nine um, cells and I'm going to try and make that look like a square so I'm going to make them white so it looks like a uh, dice and I'm going to then adjust the height of the rows so if you select multiple rows and resize them they all resize to become the same size and I'm going to make them approximately square and I think what I'll also do is just put a border around that as well to uh, make it look even more kind of separate so what we've got effectively here is nine um, sections and if we look at uh, the the dice uh, model on the spreadsheet what I've done is I've shown all the possible outcomes and we can see that there's effectively nine positions so we've got three down the side three spots down the side here and there's a middle spot although the top middle and the top bottom uh, aren't actually used in this particular case so you need to think about when each spot appears so I'll leave the middle one to last because that is a, a bit more of a, a difficult case um, but if we take the top left spot for example here um, that appears for actually any number we roll that's greater than one so it appears for two three four five and six so in our model uh, we can use the if uh, function uh, to get that to appear so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if and then I'm going to check the value of the number we've rolled so that's in there so if b3 is greater than 1 so the first part of the if is a test and then we have a comma and what do we want to do if that's true well if that's true I want to put an n in there and I'll tell you why it's an n in a minute um, otherwise I want nothing in there so notice that if I want text I need to put it in speech marks if I just wanted to put a number in there I wouldn't need the speech marks so if b3 is greater than 1 i.e. the number I roll is 2 or higher I'm going to put an n in that cell notice that the n appears at the bottom left of the cell by default so I'm also going to highlight those cells and I'm going to adjust the alignment so it's in the middle and at the top there's buttons on the toolbars for that in Excel. If you're using LibreOffice, you'll need to go to uh, Cell Properties, click the right mouse button, go to Alignment. And I'm also just going to make it a bit bigger. And um, I'll make it bold as well, I think, while I'm at it. Now, the reason I've chosen an N is um, that actually um, there isn't a circular symbol in Arial. But if I choose an N and change the font to Webdings, then what we get is a spot. So actually that's a little bit big now isn't it? So that's a, a bit of a crafty technique. I'm just going to swap the text back though because otherwise we're not going to be able to read it. Um, so I'm going to use an N for a spot. Okay so if we go back to the dice uh, numbers actually it turns out the bottom right um, spot is the same isn't it? So if we go back to Excel if I just copy and paste that whole cell down to the bottom right hand corner it'll copy and paste things like the border and so um, it won't look right but what I can do is I can just go into the formula bar and copy and paste just 
the formula and then I can paste that in there as well. So we've got the bottom left and the top right um, spots, um, not the same size for some reason, so let's just sort that out. So the bottom left and the top right appear for numbers greater than 2. Um, the top right spot appears for um, numbers 4, 5 and 6, so i.e. greater than 3. So let's stick that in. So that's quite straightforward. Um, so taking the same formula but greater than 3. And again the bottom left. So greater than three and then let's have a look um, so that what does that leave that leaves the center um, left and right spot so the um, the ones that only appear for six and they only appear for six so going back to the spreadsheet uh, we're going to use the same formula again but we're going to say if it's equal to six so this time we can just use an equal symbol if b3 is equal to six then we'll have that spot at the side and same over here. If B3 is equal to 6, then we'll have that spot now. So let's just have a quick um, go on the old F9 button. So 2, that looks OK, doesn't it? And 3, well, we haven't done the middle spot yet, but that would be otherwise OK. 5, uh, 5, what on? So it's looking OK apart from the middle spot. Now, the middle spot's a little tricky. But if we look at when it appears, it appears for 1, uh, 3, and 5. So 1, 3, and 5, what have they got in common? Well, they're all odd. So again, you could um, come up with a solution where you divide um, the value you roll by 2 and then round it and compare, uh, see whether you've got a whole number. But there is a function called odd in Excel. And what it gives you is the nearest odd number while going upwards from the number you've selected. So in this case, uh, 5 is odd, so the nearest odd number is the same. Um, if I try and get an even number, um, so 4, the nearest odd number to that is 5. So actually, we can tell whether we've got an odd number because these two cells will contain the same value. So in our middle spot, what we want is a rule that checks whether those two values are the same. So in this case, if, instead of comparing B3 with a fixed value, we're comparing B3 with B4. And if B3 and B4 are the same, then we've got an odd number. So we want uh, an N. Uh, otherwise, we don't. Now, I think that all the spots should be working now. If we just try that, so F9, so 6, that's the OK, OK, 2, 1, 2, 4, 2, 5, 6. OK, so I'll change the font now to make it webding so those ends become spots. OK, and what I'm also going to do, we don't need this number here, 7. That's going to be a bit confusing, isn't it? Because uh, we can't tell which is the uh, number from the dice. So all I'm going to do to hide that is I'm just going to change the font colour and make it the same as the background. So um, that's it now. So if we just press the F9 key, um, so 5 works, 4, 1, 5, 3, 5, 4, 2, 6. There you go. So that's how to create a, a dice model showing you the face using a spreadsheet such as Excel or LibreOffice.